गुड मॉर्निंग फॉर प्रोफेस संडे फॉर प्रोफेस मे थर्टी टू टू टन वो प्रोफेस या पेन अमेरिका सन एंटोनियोस मंडे मॉर्निंग टू एम on May 31 to Tatana see shooting in the Rangers room bullet holes mark the scene of a shooting those bullets not only hitting a downtown nightclub but also the leg of a teen who was riding on an electric scooter right outside the night team's Jaffney Gray spoke with the victim's older brother who hopes this shooting encourages people to put an end to violence he said that when he was riding a shootout happened and he and he happened to be in the misfire and one of the bullets hit him the older brother of a 16 year old who was shot overnight says he's angry the teen was shot in the calf while riding an e-scooter just before two this morning the brother doesn't want to be identified in order to protect his little brother's identity i've had a couple friends die when i was younger so i know how i know how it feels you know and But I mean, it, I, luckily it was in the leg and not in the chest, or in, you know, it could have been anywhere. San Antonio police say the teen was shot near the V Lounge near East Martin and Soledad Street. He and his uncle told police they heard a few pops before realizing the teen had been hit in the leg. The aftermath of that shooting can still be seen in the damaged windows of the nightclub. The teen was taken to Brook Army Medical Center. He's a strong kid, so he's doing great. He's at home right now. He's recovering. He's with my family. Police do not have a description of the shooter's vehicle. since neither the teen nor the uncle saw anything his brother says this is just another reminder that the gun violence needs to end people to open their mind and realize that when they're shooting there's innocent people around there's there's victims that can fall that have never done nothing in their life you know it just needs to stop you know this this is out of control The family says that the 16-year-old is expected to make a full recovery. San Antonio police still do not know a motive behind the shooting, but they're urging anyone with any information that can help in this investigation to call police. Live at Public Safety Headquarters, Jaffney Gray, KSAT 12 News.